y'all. Happy Friday. So today we are going to be talking about ways to combat daylight saving time. Savings time. Saving time. Did you know it's actually daylight saving time? That all this time daylight savings time is the wrong way to pronounce it? I found that out from church last week. I didn't know. Um, I'm sure that you didn't either. So we have to set our clocks back on Sunday. And personally, I am not a fan. I hate it when it is, yes, I said hate, hate it when it is dark at 5 p.m. Um, I don't have like seasonal defective disorder or anything, but I don't like it. It makes me sad. I feel like at 5 when it's dark, I should already be on my couch in my PJs. And then, because we're losing, we're tired, the kids are off, you know, they're tired, they're grouchy. It's not a good situation. So, what are we supposed to do about it? How do we overcome this? Since we cannot do anything about it, even though we hate it, I hate it, what are we supposed to do about it? It's not like they're going to change their minds. So, ways to combat. First, we are going to go to sleep a half hour earlier. Personally, for me as an adult, I don't like anybody to tell me when I'm going to bed because I had parents that told me to go to bed as a kid and now I don't have to. Okay, I'm just joking. Um, so go to sleep a half hour earlier and put your kids to bed a half hour earlier if they will tolerate it. Um, that's one way just to, you know, give yourself a little extra. Um, a whole hour is kind of pushing it a little bit because a lot of times you're not really tired. So you end up laying in your bed awake. And then of course we end up playing with our phones. So that's not going to be helpful. Just so just a half hour will help a little bit. Okay. Next drink water, drink water. If you do not know already per my previous video about hydration, water is this miracle elixir. So what does water do? It keeps you hydrated. Excuse me. It also um, keeps you from being fatigued. If you're already tired from daylight saving time, then drink some water so that you're not also fatigued from dehydration. Um, also, if you are not hydrated, it reduces alertness. So water, be alert. Okay. Um, okay, next is eating some energy boosting foods. And no, I don't mean candy. I know you have a lot of it because it was just Halloween, but don't do it. It'll make things worse because sugar drops brings you up and then drops you down and you're going to be even more tired. So you need to eat stuff like, um, I'm just looking at my notes. Notes. Okay. Um, energy boosting foods, bananas, oranges, obviously fruit is going to be good um, for those kind of things. Not energy drinks. Um, coffee, I don't recommend it with a lot of sugar, but coffee for caffeine will help. Um, also nuts and uh, some peanut butter too and spinach. So nuts has magnesium in it and in them. And magnesium is actually something that your body needs to help you process things. So if you're low in magnesium, then it's going to take you a lot longer to get things done. So if you eat some nuts, it'll boost your magnesium levels and you'll be able to, you know, process things faster. Um, also the spinach. So spinach contains iron and then iron is also a key um, ingredient to producing energy. So eat your spinach like Popeye. <laughs> okay. So next is take a power nap. Um, if you have a lunch break during the day, even if it's 30 minutes, a power nap can be anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes. That's a really good time frame. It'll, um, you know, you'll wake up and feel alert and feel better. And any more than that, then you're kind of pushing it because then you'll wake up more groggy and you've kind of defeated the purpose. So anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes, um, if you've got a lunch break, you can do it, you know, during then. Or if you get to come home early or even in the afternoon, just come home and just take a rest on the couch for a minute. If your children will let you. <laughs> um... So next is stand up. Um, if you have a sit down job or anything like that, you're sitting a lot, um, that also can make you tired. So if you just stand up, stretch a little bit, get your blood flowing, that will absolutely help. So that's um, the 
one of the ways to combat um, the extra tiredness. And then last but not least is exercise. Nobody wants to hear that, but I'm sorry, it's true. If you eat healthy and move your body, good things happen to you. I'm sorry, there's no shortcut to that. So exercise. Exercise boosts your endorphins. And from Elle Woods, endorphins make you happy. No? Legally Blonde? No? Okay. All right, it's cool. All right, guys. I hope you enjoy your Friday. Don't forget to set your clocks back on Sunday, and I will see you next week. We are doing a mom series on how to get yourself back. Get yourself back, mom. Okay, guys. Great weekend. See you later.